season. We have certainly been feeling those allergies already mm -hmm. right here in green country, Georgia. Take a Claritin every <laughs> single morning <laughs> or I'm just dying. Well, you sound like you're doing okay. Yeah, on my Claritin right now. And that's also <laughs> one of those lists you don't want to be number one on the no, allergy certainly list. certainly not. Allergies are going to be pretty bad. Well, for the next few months, allergies are going to be bad. I also want to update you on our severe weather chances for tomorrow. This is going to be our big weather thing we're going to have to watch this week. If you haven't heard, thunderstorms with hail will be likely tomorrow. This is going to be our first severe weather event of the season. Most of the storms which form are going to develop between 3 and 5. This means most of us will have a chance for rain between 4 and 10. Now, not all of us are going to get severe weather, but the stronger storms will have quarter to golf ball size hailstones. As far as the timing of the rain and where it's going to form, we'll show you what it's going to look like. Now, here's the future track. Lunchtime today, the weather is going to be dry, just very windy across northeastern Oklahoma. Now, for this afternoon, we are going to see a few showers and thunderstorms developing. Most of this rain is going to form to the east of Tulsa. This means if you live near Muskogee, Tahlequah, or Grand Lake, you're going to see a better chance for rain. Rain totals will be low. They're just going to be very quickly moving showers and thunderstorms. Now, tomorrow morning begins dry, so any travel plans you have across the state tomorrow morning and also through noon tomorrow, no issues. Will be windy, warm, and dry. Now, between 3 and 5, we're going to see thunderstorms developing to our west. They're essentially going to form near I-44 and to the west of I-44. This means the rain is going to develop near Oklahoma City and also near and to the west of Bartlesville. Here we go. Watch what happens between 5 and 10. These thunderstorms erupt as they move into eastern Oklahoma. Some of these thunderstorms will have severe thunderstorm warnings. If a severe thunderstorm warning is issued, that means that storm is going to have, say, quarter size hail or larger hail. Quarter and larger hail is big enough to do damage to your car, could beat up your car. We will let you know specifically exactly where these thunderstorms will be developing tomorrow. Have to wait for the exact storms to form to let you know exactly who does get the worst weather, but we'll certainly keep you updated on that for tomorrow. Now, as far as this morning, we are tracking a few showers. By the way, these aren't severe, just a little bit of light rain in far eastern Oklahoma near Grove. Once this rain moves on out, will be dry for the rest of the morning. As far as your temps right now, it's 59 in Bartlesville, 55 in Tallahassee. 57 in Muskogee, a fairly mild morning, but you probably want a windbreaker as that wind will keep you cool and the wind will get stronger after sunrise. Right now, we're at 61 in Tulsa. As far as your temps this afternoon, upper 70s and lower 80s for highs, 80 Owasso, 79 in Broken Arrow, as well as Muskogee, southeastern Oklahoma, temps in the upper 70s to lower 80s, so warm everywhere. Your 7-day forecast, this 20% we have for today, that is mainly for rain developing east of Tulsa. Tomorrow, a few Strong storms will be possible. That's why we have this goldish color on the seven day. All the rain moves out early Thursday, dry for Thursday, then a few showers and cool for Friday. Weekend looks good, Max. Does look good, George. Thank you very much. 621 now on your Tuesday.